Squaring a binomial. Squaring a binomial is simply multiplying a number or expression by itself. Take for example squaring the number 3. 3 squared is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 which results to 9. Let's take the expression 2x squared. Squaring the expression 2x squared is simply multiplying 2x squared by itself. So 2x squared will become 2x squared multiplied by 2x squared equal to 4x to the power of 4. Remember, in the law of exponents, when the exponents are the same, you add the two exponents. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. There's a technique that we can use in squaring binomials. It is called FOIL. FOIL means the sum of the products of the first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. For example, squaring expression 2x plus y. The first term in this expression is 2x and 2x. 2x and 2x is equal to 2x squared. The outer term in this expression is 2x and y. 2x and y is equal to 2xy. The inner term in this expression is y and 2x y and 2x is still equal to 2xy. The last term in this expression is y and y. y and y is equal to y squared. Now let's put it in action. Let's take expression 4x plus 3y squared. 4x plus 3y squared is equal to 4x plus 3y multiplied by 4x plus 3y. It is equal to the first term, 4x multiplied by 4x plus the outer term, 4x multiplied by 3y plus the inner term, 3y multiplied by 4x plus the last term 3y multiplied by 3y. You've noticed that the outer term and inner term have the same variable. To make it short, the expression will become 4x squared plus 2 multi multiplied by 4x multiplied by 3y plus 3y squared. The result will be 16x squared plus 24xy plus 9y squared. But what if the expression was a subtraction? For example, 4x minus 3y squared will become 4x minus 3y multiplied by 4x minus 3y which is equal to 16x squared plus 2 multiplied by 4x multiplied by negative 3y plus 9y squared it is in negative sign it's because you're using a subtraction sign here. The result will be 16x squared subtracted by 24xy plus 9y squared. If you use subtraction sign here, it is because when you multiply a positive and a negative 
integer, the result is negative.